I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video So I am super super freaking excited to bring you this set. It is absolutely freaking adorable Losing myself in the deep end, forgetting my government Rebelling down on my demon so my client came in today and he came back for an infill and also a design change so she just had a gel polish design on and i'm going in with my e-file and my drill bit from todak usa i'll have the links for both of those down below and a full video all about the e-file that i use if you guys want to go and check that out that is available for you to go and watch right now um but yeah so i'm just using that drill bit to take off the gel polish design i always use this drill bit i just think it gets the job done so so quickly and it's just yeah it cuts my time down so much than just using a regular hand file if you haven't got one y'all you need to try it it is amazing okay so I remove the design on all 10 nails, I then go in with my hand file, I prep the natural nail, I remove any lifting, I blend the existing acrylic into that natural nail. We don't want to be over filing the natural nail though, we're just filing on the line where the acrylic meets. So once I have completed all of my prep, I'm coming in and applying my primer so the primer that i'm using today is from nsi and it is their i have no idea what it's called oh yes i do it is their super bond primer i use this for every single client i like both of nsi's primer so whichever one you have it's gonna be freaking amazing and if it's not working for a client like a particular client which i have found try switching it up try double priming try triple priming if you have to something will work guys i'm telling you now you just have to use all the options once you've done everything and you're still having issues then it's time to say bye bye to your client girl you gotta say bye i cannot do anything for you you have got to go okay that's the deal with that so anyway, I am using NSI's clear acrylic and I'm going ahead and I'm infilling the nails. So I'm doing this in real time. I'll let you guys watch me infill and then I will be back to do the design. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the same concept, but yeah. seen through different lines, I think. I think so too, yeah. But it's a real thing regardless, because energy is energy. Like, you're literally sending waves. Thoughts are waves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, emotions are waves. Waves, 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 waves. Vision is a wave, 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 wave. Yeah. Speaking things is a wave, it's a wave, it's a wave, it's a wave, it's a wave. Like, I'm talking about literally wavelengths, wavelengths, wavelengths. myself in the deep end, forgetting my government, rebelling down on my demons, I'm overindulging them, she's just using me up, uh, what's the use, she's just using me up, uh, what's the use, losing myself in the deep end, forgetting my government, rebelling down on my demons, I'm overindulging them, she's just using me up, uh, what's the use, she's just using me up, uh, what's the use, Wearing down on my nerves, losing patience with the seasons, moving up in the world, still swimming in the deep end. I don't need shit from no one new. I just want the view, I just want the gold in them. Old clothes with the holes in them. Old hoes trying to build, fuck them. I got bills, I ain't worried about a thought. Stacking up until it's so money. Still stacking till my body right. Still sipping when I'm 120. Still off the fucking wall with the dirty vans and your bitch let of shit. Put my liver through some punishment just to cope. Gotta take another sip. Yeah. Losing myself in the deep end, forgetting my government, doubling down on my demons. I'm overindulging them, 
So I am just finishing off filing the nails here. I do go ahead and file every single nail into shape, making sure that the surface is all smooth and even. I do not use a white buffing block because that way you're going to cause a few problems. You might get your gel peeling off easily. I don't know, it's just, it's just not a good mix. Like applying a gel polish to a smooth surface is a no-go, okay? You've got to have something for it to grab onto. So leave that surface rough, okay? So I'm using a mixture of Madame Glam gel polishes and also a couple of others. I think I'm using a candy coat and possibly a blue sky, but I think maybe just the Madame Glam and the candy coat. I will have the colours in the description box down below for you guys if you want to go and check them out because as I was editing this video, I realised I didn't show all of the colours on screen because, you know, I just get in the moment with my client doing the nails and sometimes I forget, okay? But yeah, I'm basically going ahead and doing this design. My client brought in a picture off Instagram which was so hilarious because I literally saved the same picture like three days before and she like sent me that. She was like, oh girl, I want these. I was like, yes! You can have those because I wanted to do them anyway. So that was freaking bomb. I did change it up a little bit, but basically they might as well be the same. Because the thumbs weren't showing in the picture, so I kind of made that bit up. We didn't add any gems on or anything like that. And they did have some crystals on. And also the colours weren't in exactly the same places or exactly the same colours. But it was extremely similar. You guys have probably seen that picture floating around because those nails are freaking magical. So I'm so glad that my client brought this picture and I got to recreate them because I love them so much. So I go ahead and apply all of my colours to the nails and I'm basically doing that on most of the nails. I weren't sure which way I was going to do the multicoloured so I left one of the nails single and not with any gel polish on just for a moment whilst I finished off the rest of the nails and I cured them for 30 seconds. Once I'd cured them I came back in and did a second coat as you can see here and when blending gel polishes like this it's really important to wipe any excess gel polish off of your brush. Just that way you can go ahead and really really get that blend going nicely. Also, make sure you wipe your brush off before you pop it back into the bottle, otherwise you're going to be mixing colours and that is not acceptable. So here I am doing the rainbow nail and yes, these two are like the yellow and the orange are candy coat gel polishes and the rest of them are Madame Glam and I have got a 30% off coupon code for you guys if you want to use that down below and also if you use my link that's down there as well I do get a small percentage it's not a lot but just thought I'd let you guys know that just in case you didn't want to help me out you know you never know some people don't but yeah just yeah so I'm going ahead and doing an ombre on the thumbnail using the yellow and the orangey peachy colour because I wanted to bring some different colours in because I felt like the rest of the nails were all that purple and the pink and the blue so I added a little bit more brightness onto this one. I'm then going ahead and applying a top coat to all of the nails, curing that in the light and then I'm leaving the tacky layer on there and I'm going to be coming in with a stardust pigment or powder. Um, this is from Bundle Monster. I've had it for so freaking long. But don't worry guys, I'm going to try and get some of these powders on my website. So that is going to be absolutely freaking amazing. Like seriously, I've got so much crazy awesome stuff coming your way. So yes, don't forget to go and check out our shop. I will have the links on the screen, in the description box, up in the information bar, everywhere. You will see the link, okay? Because I'm putting it there. So once I had applied the pigment, I then reapplied a top coat, making sure that everything was sealed in nicely. And then I'm coming in with some clear builder gel to do the unicorn horn nail. Now this unicorn horn didn't stand out 
too much because we didn't apply any pigment over the top. So if we'd applied like a holographic over the top of that, you would be able to see it and it would be more defined. But my client was so happy with it like this. So if she's happy, I'm happy and that is all that matters. Once I have finished completely and I've wiped all the tacky layers off, I'm coming in with my Nurture Oil from NSI and that is the final look guys. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I love the way it turned out. It's freaking amazing. And please guys, always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You've got this. I love you. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload, let it swing right back.